Installing your new Kwikset Smart Code 888 touchpad electronic deadbolts is simple and easy. Before you start, gather all tools and materials required and familiarize yourself with the lock parts. Warning: Do not use an electric drill or electric screwdriver to tighten screws. Step 1. Adjust the back set. To determine which setting to use, extend the bolt by rotating the D-shaped crank so the curve is facing up, and hold the latch in front of the door hole with the latch face flush against the door edge. If the D-shaped crank is centered in the hole, then no adjustment is required. If the D-shaped crank isn't centered, twist the latch to the longer setting. Step 2. Install the latch and strike. To properly position the latch, make sure the word up is facing upward. Install the latch on the door with the shorter wood screws provided. Or if using the drive-in latch with the bolt retracted, use a hammer and wood block to tap into position. Re-extend the latch bolt. Attach the strike with the two long screws and two short screws provided, making sure to install the longer screws closest to the door jamb. Step 3. Prepare the exterior keypad. If the diameter of the borehole is 2 and 1 eighth of an inch, you will need to attach the provided adapter ring to the keypad as shown. For diameters that measure 1 and 1 half inch, you will not need the adapter ring. Step 4. Install the exterior assembly and mounting plate. Route the cable underneath the latch. Insert the torque blade through the latch by aligning the D-shape of the torque blade with the crank. Firmly position the exterior assembly onto the door. Thread the cable and torque blade through the center hole of the mounting plate and position the mounting plate so it's flush against the door. Slide the cable into the small notch at the bottom. Secure the mounting plate to the door and exterior assembly with the mounting bolt so it's parallel with the door edge. Insert the key and test the latch. If the latch doesn't operate smoothly, adjust the mounting screws. Remove the key when finished. Make sure the latch bolt is once again extended. Step 5. Disassemble the interior assembly. Make sure the turnpiece is in the vertical position and remove the cover. Make sure that the turnpiece shaft is oriented as shown. Remove and set aside the battery pack for later installation. Step 6. Install the interior assembly. Align the white arrows on the two cable connectors and firmly push them together. Make sure the cables are clear of pinching and route excess cable flat across the bottom of the interior housing as shown. Align the torque plate with the turnpiece shaft and push the interior assembly flush against the door. Insert and tighten the small screws to secure the interior assembly onto the mounting plate. Step 7. Install the batteries and perform the door handing process. This step is crucial for proper operation. Load the batteries into the battery pack, ensuring the correct polarity. With the door open, insert the battery pack into the interior assembly. The smart code mechanism will automatically drive the bolt in and out several times to determine proper handing. Step 8. Perform the inclusion process. Initiate the inclusion process at the controller. Refer to your control system instructions for more information. When prompted, press button A on the lock one time to include it in your system. Step 9. Install the interior cover. The interior cover will be installed over the interior assembly with three screws. The window on the interior cover is locked by default to prevent someone from tampering with your lock settings. If desired, you may remove the security screw from the window so that it can slide up for quick access to the batteries and buttons on the interior while the cover is installed. Lock settings and user codes can now be programmed by following the detailed instruction sheet provided. If needed, refer to the supplied smart key instructions to rekey the lock to your existing key. Quickset Smart Code 888 Touchpad Electronic Deadbolt is ready for use.